Active Partition Recovery provides users a great way to recover files and partitions. One way to recover files is the Last Chance option. The Last Chance option is a recovery method that is helpful when the primary method, such as Quick Scan or Super Scan, either haven't detected your partitions and volumes, or there are hundreds of volumes that are being detected and you can't locate the files you're looking for. Last Chance tries to detect all unfragmented files based on their standard signatures. And in most cases, it will be able to detect and to properly recover the contents of lost files. However, it will not be able to detect file system attributes, such as the original file name, the creation date, or modification date. To use Last Chance, across the top of the window, click Last Chance. Make sure only the desired physical disks are selected. Click Next. And here you could select to find all file formats, or you can narrow down your search. I am looking for MP3 files, so I will remove non-audio files from the list, which should save me time in the scan. And I will click Start. Now that the scan is complete, let's go to the Signature Files tab. In here, I can see the music and audio files, which matches the selection I made during the scan. If I open that, I can see it found MP3 files, and it did not find other music and audio files, only MP3, which happens to be what I was looking for. If I expand the MP3, I can see the nine files that are recovered. With these files, I can see five attributes. I can see the artist, the album, the title, the version, and TXXX. I want to change this. I want to organize mine by year, then by artist. To do this, I'm going to use the Organizer tool. First, we click Organizer. Since I want the year to be first, I will scroll down the list, and I will change year to attribute number one. What's going to happen is it will trade places with attribute number one. So artist will become number 11. Well, that's not what I want either. I wanted artist to be number two. So if I scroll up, I will make artist number two, and it will switch places with album, which album now becomes number 11. I have title as number three, version is number four, and I would like Composer to be number five, so I will change that as well. And click Apply. And now I have my new set of attributes. To recover these files, you select the files you want, and across the top, click Recover. In this new window, we will select a recovered destination. I will choose my desktop. And I could select to open the output folder once the recovery is complete. I will check that to make that happen. And by default, it is set to organize the files by the metadata, by attribute 1, attribute 2, and so on and so forth. The current attribute base folder depth is 2. What this means is there will be a folder for each unique year, and within that unique year's folder, there will be a second folder for the unique artist. Within the artist folder will be the actual MP3 files. And that's fine. That's one way to do it. I only want to go down to a depth of one. I want to see the music within the folders for the year. So I will change the depth to one and click recover. Now in my desktop, I see music and audio files, MP3, just like we had in the recovery window, and now I have one folder per unique year, and within that year folder, I have all the individual music files. So that's how we use the last chance feature and the organizer within partition recovery. I have a damaged partition that Window would like to format. However, I have some files on this partition I don't want to lose. So instead of using Format Disk in the Windows operation, I'll use Partition Recovery. To do this, I'll select my partition, and across the top, click Recover. 
We will choose Copy All Data to a New Disk. And within here, we have two options. The first option is Recover Files and Folders Only. This will copy all of the saved files and folders from the partition being recovered onto a new target disk. The original data structure and the file's attributes have been duplicated as well. The advantage of this method is that the copied files are guaranteed to be readable on the new target disk. The disadvantage is that system areas, metadata, and deleted data are not copied, so future data recovery of a damaged file system is not possible from the new target. The second option is to copy all volume data sector by sector. This will copy all of the occupied sectors on the volume as it's specified in the file system's allocation bitmap. This means that all of the system areas, like the MFT records or the FAT tables, have been duplicated as well. And along with the saved files and folders, you can recover files being marked as deleted. This way, future data recovery is possible even from the new target disk. The disadvantage is that if some of the system areas, such as the MFT or the boot sector, are damaged on the original partition, the target disk will have that exact same damaged data. And when accessing the new volume or the files on it, you can get error messages such as access denied. Let's select Recover Files and Folders Only. And in the window below, I will select its destination target and click Recover. This is your final chance to select a different destination. I will select Yes. Once the process is complete, I can see in the new drive I have a partition called Recovered Volume. If I select Recovered Volume, I can see the two MP3 files I originally had on my drive. However, if I were to attempt a scan, to recover the nine deleted MP3s that we recovered earlier, they would not be found on this new drive. The ultimate package at PartitionRecovery.com now also includes Bootable Active at Live CD. This is able to boot all of the latest 86 and 64 UEFI secure boot systems. File Recovery also now supports the new System Linux BTRFS. For more information on Active at Partition Recovery, please go to www.partition-recovery.com.